twist. You're on the boat with the gold and dirty bay fishing can't stop now. We on mission. It's a hold of me tightly, flowing in my mind daily and nightly. Will it ever stop? I don't know. Tides turning, so let's go with the flow. The water looks a little low here. A good thing we're bringing the skinny boat out today. Wind's down. All right, guys, Kevin Wingate with Dirty Bay Fishing, and I am here in Dulac, Louisiana. Old Captain Dulac himself, he's uh, out on the water, just dropped it off. Uh, yesterday we went out, we had, a, had some issues with the Simmons, electrical issues, we got that fixed. Couldn't find some clean water, went too far south, 20 mile an hour winds, but it's okay. Today is gonna be the day we got the skinny boat out, we're gonna go out in some really skinny water. We're gonna try to find some redfish. It looks like the wind's a little bit down today. So let me get on the boat with Captain Dulac and let's uh, see what we can find today. Hope you like today's episode of Dirty Bay Fishing. Let's get it, dude. boys we're as skinny as you can get how many inches you think we're in right now captain dulac uh, maybe six about six inches of water we just passed up all kinds of redfish but we couldn't stop because it was so shallow i mean we probably burned through 15 redfish i'm talking big size redfish their 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 upper fins was out of the water so we're gonna see what we can do hopefully uh, we've, we've seen some when we slowed down we might can go get them Oh, well, he went right towards the bank. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There he is. There he is. Watch right there, right there. I see him still. There we go, right there. Are you serious? I'm give you the denial. Wow. Perfect. I'm fucking hit him on the back. There's one right yeah, there. Yeah, he's gone. These fuckers are not real aggressive yet. I mean, I hit that dude. Yeah, that's what happened yesterday to me. They're on the left. I didn't want to catch him anyway. <laughs> I didn't want you to bite my hook, okay? <laughs> All kinds of stuff. I see you. Cool, the cool thing with this one, if we get it in, is mm -hmm. this is on that new down south big smooth lure that I just got from the fishing show. I might have changed my, changed my paddle to a little more action. There you go. Get in, get in. There you go. Good job, brother. Good job. Nice. <laughs> About time we got one in the boat after all these fish we've been throwing at. That's 30 plus. Uh, man, he's close. Yeah, he's 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 over out of slot for sure. Nice. He's like 20. He's a little 28 and a half. 28 and a half? Yeah, too too big for here. Yeah. Let this bad boy go. We have another day. <laughs> that 
That was cool. All right, boys. It's time to bring on the dirty chicken. For some reason, they're not liking my bait. I'm putting them right where they can bite them. Let's see what that old dirty chicken does for us here in Dulac. All right, so we end up getting uh, old Captain Dulac. He ended up changing over his bait on a down south lure, and uh, seemed like he actually got a bite this time. So I'm going to change it up to over to my dirty chicken, and let's hope they bite on mine this time. Boom, got him. Artificial bait, hooking redfish more than we can have. You're on the boat with the gold, my brother mm -hmm. jamming to all the songs I own. Uh -oh. God bless us with a salt water soul. Come Every down. word you spend, we know. We know now that in the south where the waters flow And my trusty boat always ready to go With a rod in hand and a steady throw I'm not fishing, it's a southern show I got it, I can get him now hmm? Yeah Oh, man, you're gonna break, break your rod It's just a hat law rod, bro <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I know you put a lot of time into it. I can see you break your rod. Nah, bro. You don't give me enough credit. These are bad as bone rods. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. That's only one of many flips with this rod, dude. And then if it breaks, guess what? I yeah. build another one. Right. Throw in a gutter, go buy another. Not as big as yours, but uh, yeah, she's place. pretty. She's pretty. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. 27. There we go. Uh, pretty good little redfish right there. All right, boys. Finally, the dirty chicken paid off. I changed over back to the dirty chicken after hitting that black drum and uh for sure it bit it likes it so i'm gonna stick with the dirty chicken for a little while see what happens there so go ahead and release this bad boy and we're on a lot of redfish right now we ran over i don't know 15 20 redfish coming in here and uh captain dulac himself he decided to get in this little shallow water we Started working back. Started working back, and now we're we're spotting a lot of redfish around here. It's freaking beautiful weather out here in, in Dulac, Louisiana, and I just appreciate you, dude, for uh, Captain Dulac for getting me out here and, and enjoying this nature out here. And I can't wait for the next one, but we're not done yet. We got a lot more fish to catch. I oh, took off right past it again. All right. Oh, there's one right in front. You see it? There's one right here, look. Yeah. Boom. Got him. Oh, he spit it out. Whoa. Is that the same one? Yeah. Nice. Nice. Appreciate it, dude. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. <laughs> That was cool. I mean, it feels like it's my fish. <laughs> I'll let you take your picture. There you go. There you yeah, go. Yeah, I see ya. <laughs> okay, that's good. A couple of these are feeding. Oh, there you go. Good cast. Good cast. Oh, you know what? Look, look. My thing came off. I guess oh, he, he spit out. That's what it was. He had the bait, not the hook. Oh, look. It straightened out. Holy cow. He bent the hell out of that. Look at that. 
Oh, you ain't got the heavy duty one. Yeah, you need to put that in. We ain't fishing for bass. Oh, this is a redfish killer, dude. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. It's a redfish Maybe killer. In Texas. <laughs> All right. She a pretty one. Can't believe you gave him. You let him get you, sucker. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Let me. I'll let you. Dad. All right. Them hooked up and then it broke off. And then I pet, pitched at it and he ate my bait. Here it comes. Whatever size. There we go. Oh yeah. That's a big one, dude. No wonder he straightened my stuff out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna rig up since I Lost my crap and you got him, so congratulations, buddy. <laughs> and let that bad boy go. Man, I'm mad at you, dude. Boy, you freaking smoked your spinner bait, though. Yeah, That's he did. So That's all right, though. It was cool. Good action, man. It felt good for like two seconds. <laughs> Here, wait. Just wait till you get a good shot on him. Try to be accurate and get. I'm not gonna catch on him. You got it. It's all you. You can get a nice shot, drop it in front of him. If you get behind him, he might spook him. Okay, he's kind of coming towards us. Oh, there's two of them there. Watch it. Look at that. There's two of them. Let me go for the back one. I can get this one right here. I'm let you go. I was like perfect in line, but I'm gonna let you have your shot. There we That's go. Big old flat drum. Is it? Yeah. That's alright. Nice, he went after it. That's alright. Right, at least he'll eat it. Alright, let's get rid of this one here real fast. I'll come down there and help you. Not exactly a redfish, but Captain Dulac being hitting them good. But I did change, I did change my lure, so redfish are definitely more aggressive than a black drum. Come up here. Just be quiet if you can. You see one? Oh, I see him. Oh. Gotcha, sucker. All right. All right, well, I didn't get spunked today, Captain Dulac. Now it's time to find redfish. See you later, buddy. All right, well, black drums like the dirty chicken. Now let's let this redfish get a hold of it. What happened yesterday? Because today's a lot better day. Yeah. So yesterday we got here, we pulled the big boat out. We had to get it ready. We got new gas in it. We were ready to rock and roll, topped it off so we could make some long runs. And then uh, right away the, the um, jack plate went out and the gps went out which over here you got to have gps it can be uh i mean i can get us around to some spots but it can be hard to navigate without gps thought we had it fixed and working when we got on the water but then sure enough i stopped someplace close so i always like to kind of stop someplace close to the ramp to fish right off the bat just to make sure we got all our ducks in a row and it's probably a good thing we did because stuff wasn't working right so Happened to get a call from my fishing partner Chuck who was on his way into town dropping a boat off at my house And he is really good mechanically inclined So he agreed to meet us at the ramp and he came down and looked at stuff and sure enough We had some bad connections going on Got those fixed and then by then we got back to fishing, but the wind had picked up like I don't know what 15 <laughs> or 20 miles Oh, an hour. yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. Couldn't find clean water. Yeah, but all in all the uh 
We had a good day on the water. I um, did see 15 he, or 20 fish he, probably. He got a couple fish. Look, is that one right there on, off the bank? Or is that just a shadow? Yeah, it's a piece of grass or something. Okay, but yeah. All in all though, it was a good day on the water. We ran good. Saw uh, Chuck McKinney do some tutorials and things like that. Getting the boat stuck in the water, showing us how to get out, things like that. That was pretty neat. So, yeah. but now today's uh, icing on the cake. It's great, better conditions, and we're already catching fish and seeing a lot more. So, hopefully, we we'll get some more fish for you guys. You're right here on this clean water. See him to the left. He turned as I was in. Oh, he turned back towards. Yeah. He, get him. Get him. Yeah, I threw it in the water and let him good. See how he turned left again at the same time. You know where you're shallow when your your trolling motor is drawing that much mud behind you. Wow. Oh, my <laughs> Get your cast on that guy. They're eating for sure. He's taking off. That far, we'll see. No, I can't. Nice. Good job. Yeah, you cast it farther than me. I could, my light jig, I couldn't throw that far. on another good one killing it today when you want to find redfish you got to go skinny and this is what you got to do check it out fish today um, they weren't as hungry as, as we wanted them to be but we had a lot of opportunities brought some fish in today and uh, it was a lot better day than yesterday so we it sucks that we have to go back home early we got a five-hour drive back to Houston but it's always fun to get out here and, and uh, experience the red fishing uh, experience over here in Louisiana redfish capital of the world baby that's it man so we got to pack up early it's just afternoon clean up the boats you know do all the the, the proper things you got to do for your boat so you, it'll be ready for the next time and uh head back home but there is some fish in the box and we did uh got to bring some fish in the boat today so i hope you like this footage and uh hopefully i'll be back to have a lot more footage out here at dulac in the future but until then i'll see you in the next one tight lines and god bless Machine. Cruising down a dirty bay Ain't got no time to play On the salt tainer flats Catching redfish and that's facts Facts Old school angler legend on the boat gangster flexing